How to whiten teeth in Pixamator Pro. First, load your image and zoom in using the top slider. We need to zoom in really close today. Then, grab yourself a brightening tool from the tool panel on the left. It's over here, look like a little sun. So we're going to use this to lighten this area. First, we can modify the brush. The brush size should be a bit smaller than the biggest tooth here. So even smaller than this, a bit smaller. All right, softness, I recommend something around 85. And very important, third slider, straight. We want this to be subtle, so this needs to be below 20%. I will start with 17. And by default, you are whitening all tones. We just want mid-tones in this case. All right, let's zoom in even more and try it out. If it's too strong, you can reduce it. So let's now manually brush over some darker areas here. Keep in mind there's a reset button over here. If you feel like you messed up, you want to start from scratch, click reset. Bam, we are back. And now we can try again. All right. We can press this button here to see it side by side. Let's zoom out to give it a final check. All right, so we use the lightening tool to add a bit of light to this area and make it brighter. Let's reset that change and use alternative tool. Because in my opinion, the brightness is just fine here. The problem is we got too much like yellow shade. So instead of using the brightening tool, Let's head all the way down here, those three dots, and search for desaturate tool. So that's another approach we can take. And again, make the brush smaller, rather soft. And not that strong. Mid-tones will do. Zoom in. And this time we will not make it brighter, but we will take away the color a bit. I think it's a bit too strong, so I undo using Command Z. Maybe something like that. And take a look. We are not making this brighter, but we can take away color here and there to make it more like gray out instead of yellow. Of course, we can combine those two brushes, and that's what I'm going to do. Next, so we start with desaturate to take away the yellow areas, and now on the top of that, I will add a bit of brightness, but this time very weak, so around 5% and even more soft. All right, and here it is, take a look. We got the best result when we combine both tools. So I desaturate first with 20% straight, and then I use lightening with just 5% on the top of that, and that gives us the best result. I hope this short tutorial was helpful, and I will see you in the next one.